All right. So, hello, everyone. Uh, we will give one or two more minutes for the rest of the folks to join us, and we'll get started in one or two minutes. Great, let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for joining us today, and we heartily welcome you to the Citrix Ready webinar. We are bringing you yet another interesting topic for the discussion today. Uh, we're going to learn a few new things and get ourselves prepared for the future. So without any delay, let's get started to learn about how to make the most out from the cloud-ready devices. So, uh, we are having a packed agenda for the next 30 minutes. Please stay tuned. Uh, we will start with a quick intro about the Citrix Ready program. And we'll learn about Unicorn. And we'll, learn also, we'll also learn about the marketing trends, uh, the market trends, what are the top priorities according to our customers, who and how those can be addressed. And we'll also continue to learn about the partnership with uh, between Citrix and Unicorn and how we can together address most of those issues, if not all. And we have an interesting demo at the end, followed by that we have the question and answer session. Uh, to begin with, uh, we have speakers from Unicorn and uh, from Citrix. So uh, my name is Manju Gali. I work as senior manager for the technical marketing team in the Citrix study program at Citrix. With me, I have the guest speakers from Unicorn. So let me do the honors of calling them up. We have Philip and Sven from Unicorn. Gentlemen, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Thanks, Manju. Uh, hi, everyone. Nice, and thank you for joining us around the globe. My name is Philip. I'm CEO of Unicon. Uh, in my role, I'm yeah, responsible for our strategy and our strategic partners. So I'm looking forward uh, to meeting you all and to give you a bit more insights into Unicon and the partnership uh, with Citrix together. Thank you for that. Yeah. Hi, my name is Sven Foss. I'm uh, in the technical sales team at Unicon. And yeah, I'm happy to show you some details of our solution combined with Citrix. Great, thanks, Sven. So I'll be the moderator and host uh, talking about Citrix as well for the next 30 minutes. So before we get started, uh, you know, uh, there are a few housekeeping items. First of all, this webinar is being recorded and all the slides, including the recording, will be shared with all the registrants and attendees. Uh, there is a questions panel in the go to, go to webinar window. Uh, if you could locate that, that is where you're going to ask your questions. We will either answer those questions in the window or pack it for the Q&A session based on the type of questions you ask. So let's get started. Uh, next slide, please, Philip. So we'll start with the Citrix Ready uh, program. So Citrix Ready program is a technology partner program. We help all our technology partners to become successful in natural, right? So through the program, we work with several partners like Unicorn to help develop the product, integrate, validate, and approve the product with Citrix products and services. So the Citrix Ready marketplace is a one-stop place and the number one source to evaluate the partner verified products. 
So this marketplace will help all our customers to make the purchase decision wise and easy, right? Uh, talk more about the program on the next slide, Philip. Uh, it's a 15 year time tested program. We have partnered with over 1000 partners having around 720 active partners in the program today. So far, we have validated over 10,000 products and we currently have over 6,500 active products listed on our marketplace. The program stands tall to build the trust, create more choices to our customers and bring in more value to the time and investments that you make, right? So the program is one of the leading technology partner program in this ecosystem. So the program is further expanded to include uh, technology partners and the channel partners to help our customers to leverage. Uh, if you go back to the previous slide, Philip. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, so the program is further expanded to include channel partners along with the technology partners to help our customers leverage the uh, expertise that our channel partners bring in through their service offerings. So we today support and validate uh, all the products uh, be in cloud ecosystem or security ecosystem or workspace ecosystem, right? So some of the key value propositions of our program, uh, as we have explained there on the slides, are the program is predominantly a foundational partner program created for our technology partners and channel partners, basically to expand and amplify their outreach to our customers, right? The program technically helps uh, to identify solutions that can complement Citrix technologies that can improve the end user experience and provide more visibility and security to the Citrix environment. Uh, we also support partners of all type and from any region or vertical and size, starting from Microsoft to, to a startup company. The program is very closely aligned to the Citrix product strategy and roadmap. That means uh, all the features, the latest ones that go out every quarter, will be tested and integrated with partner product solutions and that will be made available on our marketplace for your consumption. And all the test kits that are available for our partners are engineering approved ones, meaning it covers all the foundational use cases to the broader use cases that you, know, you would expect that partner product to work on your environment on Citrix uh, on with Citrix products and services. To that end, uh, we also help our sales and support organization in closing the customer opportunities and answering any technical questions through our partners. So in natural, the program is all about, you know, uh, helping each other build the ecosystem of partner technologies, which can further help and identify the right solutions for every customer need. So the next slide. Uh, this is the program growth. Uh, we have been growing exponentially ever since the inception of the program back in the year 2007. And we have continuously added more and more technical initiatives, marketing campaigns, and more events to address our customer needs and demands, right? So now uh, on the next slide. So now it's time to learn about Unicorn, but I just wanted to talk about Unicorn from the Citrix Ready standpoint before I hand it over to Philip and Sven. So Unicorn is a Citrix Ready partner for over a decade now, and they are one of the key partners in the endpoint ecosystem, predominantly you know, uh, validating across all the product types related to the endpoint validations as and when there is a release out, and they have recently adopt, uh, adopted and validated their operating system with the latest features and technologies that Citrix rolled out in the form of the initiatives that we announced. So uh, they are one of the key partners who have the latest strategies and Citrix ready key initiatives adopted into the operating system. So on that note, I will turn it over to Philip and Sven to take it over and introduce uh, about Unicorn. Manchu, thank you. Over to you, uh, Philip. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, for uh, on the next few slides, we want to give a quick introduction, very short on, on Unicon. Might be the case that not everyone is familiar with Unicon yet. So um, yeah, some, some background information. Uh, we are a Germany-based uh, company uh, in a city called Karlsruhe, which is a, 
100 kilometers south of Frankfurt, uh, which most people know. Um, and what we do, we are we're developing Elux, which is a um, Linux-based operating system, and Scout, which is the endpoint management platform um, for Elux-powered devices. Um, our staff is not only based in Castle, we're actually distributed um, among uh, most of the people among Germany. And uh, yeah, a lot of people at work distributed as well. Um, we are a pure channel company, um, so we sell via our distribution and resellers. And we are focusing on our strong partner uh, ecosystem, where Citrix is one of the strongest uh, and most important partner. Um, and we're glad to have this joint session to demonstrate our uh, joint capabilities. Um, uh, yeah, in our combined solution. So maybe a bit more in detail, what is our offering? Uh, what is it that we that we do? We're ex experts in endpoint operating systems and endpoint management um, to enable our, our customers in a digital society. So our Elux, which is our Linux-based operating system, is brand and platform agnostic. Um, it's extremely secure because it's hardened. Um, we have a very simple and straightforward uh, licensing model. Um, there's one license that covers everything, and there's one subscription for updates that covers everything. Um, we have a very huge uh, presence in the banking and financial sector, um, among any other industry, uh, such as retail, manufacturing, healthcare, and so on and so forth. Um, we're around since 1993, uh, so we're by far not, not a startup, but we are um, around for many, many years. And we're developing Elux and Scout for over 20 years uh, nowadays. And that has been our sole product focus ever since, which um, implies that we're focusing on, on this one area, but at the same time, there are a lot of innovations um, um, that we will see. Um, Sven will soon um, introduce the Scout Cloud Gateway as one of our latest additions to our software portfolio. Um, we are an agile company, so we have very short development uh, cycles. Um, but nevertheless, at the same time, we also do have long-term product support um, for our releases. Um, main point that we see at the moment is the hybrid work and that will be also our, our main focus when we talk about uh, working in the office working at home working uh, on the road or from anywhere um, that will be something that um, we are seeing as the main trend um, within our customers and the market um, which we will cover in a bit more detail uh, later in this presentation so over to you Sven for a high level introduction of our core uh, components. Yeah, thank you, Philip. Um, our solution consists of three parts. The first part is our operating system, Elux. is a Linux-based operating system which enables our customer to provide a consistent employee experience in the most stable and secure way. Our modular design enables our customer also to customize their images to fit their needs which results also in lean updates and for sure I ideal for accessing Citrix applications, Citrix uh, desktop infrastructures to provide best user experience to the end users. The Scout is our management suite, um, which is a lean endpoint management solution where you can granular configure all the Elux devices provide applications to um, the clients to that the end user can access, for example, the Citrix applications. And there's also a UI where you can um, yeah, configure Citrix applications to provide them to the end users. And last, with the Scout Cloud Gateway, we are addressing the need for yeah, the hybrid working, you have devices which are in your corporate um, network and you have also devices which are all around the world in home office or road warriors. And all, all these outside of your corporate LAN, you want to manage the same way as they would be in your corporate LAN. With the Scout Cloud Gateway, you have the possibility to manage, configure and support all those devices outside your corporate LAN as we're well there inside your corporate lab. Philip? Yeah, so far from um, our, the Unicorn overview. Um, back to you, Manu. Great, thanks, Philip. So let's see the market trends 
and learn about what are the top priorities for our customers right so so during the recent challenging times just before the pandemic we wanted to be one of your you know strategic business partner right so this study from Forrester shows the top priorities or rather IT priorities compared with top priorities prior to the pandemic so it's interesting to note that the priorities themselves have not changed that drastically but what we do know from talking to our customers is that the timeline to deliver on these priorities has been greatly accelerated because of the pandemic while resources available to accomplish them or these priorities has largely remained the same so this was a big challenge however uh, citrix workspace can help us here so thanks philip so let's take a look at the top six items in this list right so it could be a security or it could be increasing the cloud adoption or improving the use of data and analytics, techno and analytics technology or it could be repurposing or redeploying the existing infrastructure or consolidating and replacing or upgrading with the legacy business uh, applications or investing largely on the digital experience technologies right so for each and every of these challenges or priorities citrix workspace was purposely built to deliver in all these areas so that is what we're going to talk about today one platform that is citrix workspace that can get you moving in the right direction for all of your top priorities and also uh, we will explain how unicorn can help us on this journey together so philip you want to add uh, your two cents on this slide yeah i think it's a very interesting study and um, as you mentioned as well for for unicorn it's it's quite similar there are a few items um added as well which uh, which we are addressing um, with our operating system and our management platform but i think it's interesting to note that the priorities have not shifted but they have accelerated mm -hmm. so there's uh, less time um, that is um, or in less time those should be should be delivered and i think um, that's for me at least the key takeaway here and that we have a, a perfect overlap on uh, between uh, citrix and unicorn exactly so together we we can address a lot many issues so for the purpose of this webinar uh, what we're going to do is we are going to discuss about the four primary categories for which you can update and modernize your infrastructure with uh, citrus workspace platform broadly right so now of uh, with the citrix workspace and unicorn technologies combined together you can maximize your employee experience and productivity irrespective of the data resources files and workflows while largely reducing the employee turnover with respect to the cost you can also deliver consistent uh, work experience while simplifying and securing user access regardless of the work location or or where the user is coming connecting from and with the decision to adopt to citrix workspace and citrix cloud services it will help to reduce the it complexity not just for today but for your future years as well and this is very much drastic right so with the with the current corporate data where you have on your data center many of you may be using the uh, optimized security solutions however with more services coming from cloud and applications being delivered from the cloud it's important that you also update your systems resulting in better performance and stronger security uh, products like zero trust and many more which are offered through citrix uh, cloud and citrix workspace solutions so let's also hear from philip uh, on how unicorn is supporting our customers by partnering with citrix and understand i mean uh, addressing them together Philip, you want to add your two yeah. cents? Yeah, definitely. So for us, we, we see the same the same topics, particular when it comes to employee experience and the back to office or hybrid working, new ways of working initiatives. When yeah, the employee experience is, is key for success, but we nevertheless uh, want to keep the environment flexible and secure um, and low on costs uh, when it comes to the manageability. Um, so I think there's a trade-off that has to be considered between um, having maximum um, experience while actually um, uh, reducing costs while um, being totally flexible and secure. Um, and that's something that we want to demonstrate um, uh, in yeah. the demos later as well. Great. Thanks, Philip. Come to the next slide. And 
yeah in this slide it's more about how uh, you know how the evolution of citrix workspace with intelligent capabilities have come together in the last you know few years right so and unicorn as a partner with citrix has been consistently adopting to the latest citrix features as and when there is a release so uh, we're going to talk about how an end user experience has been improved uh, over a period of time starting from citrix storefront till the citrix workspace with intelligent capabilities right on your left hand side you see the citrix storefront uh, you can <coughs> sorry with with the contextual access and multi-factor authentication and a single sign-on to virtual apps and desktop all you can do or all all you are allowed to do is to improve the employee experience just by adding the performance analytics and insights into the performance of the end user right uh, while working with the traditional virtual apps and desktops to deliver the new workspace ui which is in the middle section uh, you need to add any citrix workspace or cloud services so this will get you to the cloud platform and also allows and also allows you to deliver better experience as shown in the middle right so if you if you want to understand why citrix workspace is better uh, it's because it combines the traditional uh, virtualization use cases with the ability to launch all application types as well as the uni as well as uh, it also provides you the unified access of all your files data applications and and everything right it's uh, it also provides you more aggregated experience uh, that allows workers to access everything that they would need through a single pane of window not just their virtualized apps and desktop but including all the files and uh, desktops so going one step further uh, like a few years ago, we also introduced the Citrix workspace with intelligent feature, which by adding the micro app service, uh, you can now deliver the workspace experience with intelligence as shown on the right hand side. So this experience uh, basically re represents the future of work. So not only it gives you the single sign on access to all your apps and files on the cloud on the Citrix workspace, it also helps you basically to organize your uh, to guide and to automate few workflows through the micro app uh, integrations and also helps you feed uh, intelligent uh, data and integrations with prop with popular productivity apps like microsoft teams for example right so uh, yeah so uh, in nutshell the workspace intelligent uh, is the way to go and it helps you in accessing and aggregating and providing you contextual and unified access for everything that an end user would expect uh, philip on the next slide please so yeah this is very important slide the desktop delivery is shifting right so uh, as it's more evident on the slide, uh, way back a few years ago, uh, we were just using physical desktops with endpoint management softwares where we had very low flexibility and we have to determine the scalability um, in much advance, right? So just as there is a shift in every industry, uh, Citrix also helped organizations to transition from physical desktops to use the virtual uh, virtual desktop infrastructure with centralized management with limited flexibility however there was a few flexibility options there and scalability was tied to the data center capacity which you could grow as you need now as the IT priorities have changed uh, organizations have started moving from physical PCs to VDI to now to the desktop as a service to offload management to increase control and scale on demand and move everything to the cloud right so citrix is no longer a virtualization company we have been offering various services and subscriptions than ever in the in the past and in the next few months you are going to hear a lot about how citrix is ready to deliver public cloud agnostic offerings subscriptions and packaging models so so, uh, so I request everyone to stay tuned with Citrix to learn more about what we are offering in the coming days. Looking to the next slide, Philip. Yeah, and likewise, um, 
when the desktop delivery is changing, um, also so is uh, the work location changing. Uh, where yeah. studies show that in the past uh, the work location was pr predominantly uh, for a lot of um, uh, our customers at the office. Um, this is now shifting towards hybrid work. Um, so we will still work in the office, but we definitely also work at home um, to have a more flexible, more hybrid work, um, but also remote anywhere on the road. Um, so that is the second um, uh, uh, part that is shifting towards the traditional setup, more towards um, the, the hybrid work, um, which of course brings new, up new challenges uh, for IT organizations. And if we now combine those two shifts, um, we can um, see how both companies work um, very closely uh, together. Um, when we talk about the, the, software, um, the desktop delivery or um, apps delivery, whether that's on-premise, hybrid, on the cloud, which is uh, brought uh, to you by Citrix, um, then there is the component um, of the operating system and the endpoint management, um, which is Elux and Scout. And of course, um, that operating system with access uh, to the desktop service or the virtual app service, um, uh, is, uh, there is some hardware needed. Um, and if we then combine this with any, any hardware device, or uh, to be concrete, any x86 um, hardware device, um, then we um, can deliver um, desktop and uh, virtual apps, um, whether that's on-premise, hybrid, or cloud, and regardless of the use case and the work scenario, so whether that's in the office, whether that's at home, whether that's on the road, whether that's from anywhere. Um, and I think that's, uh, I, I think that's the, the um, yeah, our top benefit um, that this mutual partnership uh, brings to all of our customers. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Philip. I think you rightly said that, right? So doesn't matter what use case you have or what deployment you have with Citrix virtual apps and desktop service, uh, with, this can definitely fit into any organization needs, right? Be it, be it an on-premises or hybrid or complete cloud offering, we have a solution to host and offer everything uh, as per your requirement, starting from, it can be still be, it can still be a remote PC access, or a Linux apps and desktop, or even a DAS solution, or for that matter, even a SaaS and web app, which is hosted on a different cloud, right? So with together with uh, Unicorn and Citrix, you know, where we enable everything on Workspace, Elex and Unicorn provides you that to experience on their endpoint uh, by using the operating system. Yeah, so, so now that we've seen um, basically how um, our solutions work together, we want to do a quick history lesson um, on how long the partnership actually uh, is running. Um, so over to you, Sven, uh, for a quick run through 20 years um, of IT. Yeah, we started our technology partnership in, tw uh, in 2001, where we first integrated the ICA client in Elux. And yeah, continuing in 2012, where we have integrated the Citrix application via the receiver in our desktop to provide a better user experience. And also the kiosk mode uh, in Elox, where you have, yeah, um, yeah, closed system where you only can access your Citrix applications. In 2015, we also uh, we added the support for Storefront in Scout and Elux. Um, the management side we will see later in one of the uh, demos. And in 2060, multimedia redirection and Fluendo integration followed to enable the best multimedia experience uh, in the market. So, and also in 22. Uh, 2020, sorry. <laughs> um, we have integrated the browser content redirection with Chrome embedded framework to, yeah, give the possibility to offload all these, yeah, heavy load in the browser to the client to provide best performance with the, yeah, web applications opened in Citrix sessions. So far, the history lesson. <laughs> Thank you, Sven. 
Right. So one important point that you know we probably I want to add from the Citrix Ready standpoint is in 2021 and 22, uh, Unicorn was one of our uh, key partners and top or the first partners in this ecos in this ecosystem uh, who have validated their Elex operating system with latest version of uh, Citrix Workspace app. Who have integrated the operating system to support Citrix Cloud services and Citrix Workspace. So on that note, I'm very happy to announce that Unicorn endpoints, irrespective of the OEM they have, uh, all those products are capable enough to support the latest features and, and services that, have, that we have been offering on Citrix Cloud. So the Citrix Ready Unicorn Endpoint Operating System Verified Endpoints helps you to upgrade to use the latest workspace app, to use the latest features that we have on Citrix Workspace, and to also use uh, all the Citrix Cloud services, right? So all these endpoint, including the operating system, are feature ready, and they have been validated and approved as Citrix Ready compatible uh, with Citrix Cloud services, with Citrix Workspace and, and Workspace app. So you can easily pursue uh, cloud with confidence than ever because we have uh, tested all the use cases on these endpoints, including the operating system for the support compatibility. And also uh, by virtue of upgrading to the workspace and, and cloud services, your employees will have better user experience and get better productivity out of the box. Next slide, please. So uh, one important point here to remember is the Unicorn endpoints and the operating systems are validated with two different levels. One is the standard level, which supports the VDA virtual machines and the workloads by using the underlying hypervisor or by using the underlying server resources that's called the standard level. And there is another level called premium level where it runs uh, heavy HDX technology uh, use cases by using the underlying hardware configuration of an endpoint, right? So when we ran with standard level and premium level test cases, the operating system and the endpoints, which was OEM with Lenovo and Fujitsu, every, uh, everything was, uh, everything was working seamless and has met all the desired results. So that's very, very important for any of you to consider, you know, unified, or oh, sorry, unicorn endpoints. So all the thin clients that are listed on our marketplace, including the operating system, and you can perhaps, you know, upgrade uh, your existing infrastructure if you're running on Windows and if you want to upgrade to use Unicorn Elex, you could do that easily with the steps provided by Unicorn. And it does support all the, uh, you know, Citrix workspace, Citrix HTTP technology features out of the box. Um, the next slide, please. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> With our tech, uh, OEM partners, um, all the big ones, as you see, and over 85 devices on our HCL, uh, mm -hmm. our operating system, RTSR 6.2104, and our current release 6.2110 is uh, Citrix Ready Endpoint Premium certified, and therefore also Citrix Ready um, yeah, Endpoint certified. and yeah, with our OEM partners, their hardware, our operating system, and Citrix, we are happy that we can provide this level of integration and performance and yeah, user experience to our customer. Wonderful. So now we ran through um, 24 slides. So I, I think it's time for some live, for some real demo and, and practice to see how this partnership also is integrated um in in our solutions um so yeah sven has prepared uh, three uh, demos that he will uh, walk us through um in the next few uh, yeah thank you philip then let's start we see a, yeah an elux client which is booting up and we want to demonstrate how easy it is for a user and how fast um 
to access a yeah, Citrix virtual desktop. Um, did you yeah, turn on the start. video? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, we see the uh, desktop is loading. Um, after the desktop loaded, um, the yeah, login screen appears. We can enter our credentials, or the user can enter its, his credentials, and yeah, the desktop is starting seamlessly without any interaction, and we can start to work. That's e that's the way you can provide this. Yeah access to to your end users in a really easy way and lean way. Um, Philip, please continue with the next video. Uh, okay. Snow. <laughs> uh, yeah, as we mentioned before, we have um, integrated the configuration of those Citrix applications from our the management suite uh, to the client um, in our UI. You can add over the applications, uh, Storefront application, for example. Um, in this example, we show you how to uh, yeah, enable or to configure the access we have seen in the video before. You can give a name to the application and also a display name. Display name is for the user. That's what the user sees on his display, uh, on his um, desktop. You can add the uh, Storefront URL um you have to also because otherwise you can't access this um yeah uh, it took some time to enter it <laughs> um as you see the lock on you're able to configure a predefined lock on for some kiosk applications for example where you have to um, yeah, automatically log on because they are standing somewhere to display um, some information with no interaction. You also have the possibility to use pass-through um, authentication if you're using AD authentication, and you can define an auto start application. For example, name desktop. You have just to enter the name of the application, and then. What we have seen in the video before happens, this application is started automatically without any user interaction. Um, to see the um, login, you have to start the application automatically, and you have under advanced also the possibility to add some more configurations like the log off. This enables you to, um, if, you, if you have userless desktops yeah, and the user has logged in, after the session starts, um, the storefront session is locked off automatically. So if someone minimizes the desktop uh, session, he is not able to yeah, start the session again um, without entering credentials. Um, yeah, after we have saved that, we can see the application in the applications tab. Um, there are also some more. Um, more general configurations we have added in our software defaults so that you have to disable the um, inheritance and afterwards you can yeah, edit all the provided software defaults for the Citrix workspace app. Um, like yeah, the connections window, settings, um, cache and so on and so forth going through that, that you can have have a slight overview of what's all are possible to configure out of the UI, and yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, in the next video, um, we want to show you how easy it is to create an Elux image and also how easy it is to enable all the um, Citrix channels and yeah, optimizations on the client. Uh, for that, you have just to create a new image, name it, and afterwards just add the yeah, actual workspace app, which is available on myelux.com. Um, 
if you have added it, you can enable, disable um, the features by ticking them on the left hand side, um, like HDX plug and play for USB or maybe media stream windows redirection, browser content redirection, the team's optimization as well, um, and browser content redirection for Chromium Embedded Framework. If you like to, you can also add more features as you need and how it fits for your use case. Afterwards, just save it, solve it, and all dependency needed to run Elux plus the workspace app are added automatically. And that's all you need to do to enable all features or Citrix optimizations within Elux and the rest can be done by the management studio of Citrix. Thank you. So, uh, thank you, Sven. So, um... This has been three quick uh, demos. Uh, we particularly didn't want to go into too much detail, uh, which we can do in the Q&A or um, separately offline. But we, what, we, what we wanted to show is um, yeah, the strong partnership and the integration between both um, software companies uh, for, within the last 20 years. Um, so uh, what we've seen on shifts, uh, from what Manju showed that um, the, the way that um, desktops are being delivered, uh, also the shifts towards uh, DAS and to uh, micro apps and, and, and cloud apps, um, but goes hand in hand with the shift to hybrid work uh, where the location where I am is changing. Um, and from our, uh, and what we've seen and what we try to demonstrate today is that um, working with Unicorn and Citrix together, um, we can enable a secure um, um, and modernized uh, digital workspace, um, secure with both components. Um, it can be scaled in a very, very uh, lean and efficient uh, way, and it can be managed using both um, uh, systems, um, again, regardless on which way of uh, deploying desktops and apps, and regardless of which way um, wh where the, the, the endpoint is actually located, um, all of those um, can be managed. Yeah, I mean, right, that's right, right? So with Unicorn and Citrix products and services that we offer today, we we basically empower the workspace with more security, more reliable access to everything that any business user would want to access their workspace, right? So together, uh, Citrix and Unicorn with this partnership, we help to build the digital workspace uh, that is suitable or right for every business uh, with providing more by providing more security more scalability and with very ease of management to manage all the resources including the citrus cloud and citrix resources right so that's what this uh, strong partnership is all about helping you all to build the future of work with ease of management with more security control features and more scalability options Okay, so here is what we can do next, right? So I know we have shown you the glimpse of the demo and we have shown you what Citrix and Unicorn can do together. I know many of you would have or will have a lot of questions on many things, right? So it could be on Citrix product itself or it could be on our partnership or it could be on Unicorn, Elex and all of that, right? So do not hesitate to reach us out. Uh, here are the contact details where you can reach us out. Like I mentioned, Unicorn is a Citrix ready partner. Uh, you can visit our marketplace uh, and you can reach us out at uh, citrixreadyercities.com and the website on the right hand side is all about the marketplace which will show you the unicorn products being validated as citrix ready uh you want to add any anything on the slide philip about your contact no, information think, no i think you covered everything uh, we're also quite good on time um, if there are any questions i think uh, we can conclude with one or two questions if there are any from the audience Great, yeah. So let's use this time to discuss or understand if you have any questions. So if I have any questions, let's use the time at least for next five to ten minutes to discuss on them. So uh, from the audience, uh, if you have any questions, please shoot them out now. We will definitely try and answer 
to the best of our knowledge and we, in case if we don't or if we can't we'll definitely get back to you via one-on-one -on -one email great i see a first question here uh, if i want to use all uh, components of your solution do i have to buy any additional licenses i think this is related to unicorn philip or sven if you want to take it uh manju thank you um no it's covered <laughs> all by one license and the update capabilities are all covered by one subscription with mm -hmm. the license and subscription we have the possibility to use all components of the solution without a need to buy any additional licenses or anything else great okay so we are more than welcome to take a few more questions so shoot up your questions now So there's another question from this gentleman. So do you have UC and C optimization? Philip, I think that uh, you can take that question, I guess. Yeah, I can, I can get started and Sven can uh, add more technical insights. But yeah, um, we sure. do support in, in the setups, um, which we haven't shown today, uh, many UC and C tools. I think we had a quick glimpse on Microsoft Teams that so there's the HDX optimization available um, when you build the package but that goes hand in hand with other tools um, such as Zoom. Um, and Sven, please correct me if I'm wrong, what else uh, is currently being available? Uh, we have also Avaya available. Um, uh, Sky for Business is also available. Uh, WebEx, for example. Um, yeah, we have a yeah, broad partnership with UCNC partners and um, yeah, hoping that there are some more in the future, but I think we have a good base for to cover mm -hmm. every need. Yeah, and Manchu, maybe allow me uh, one additional comment. Um, I think this entire UCNC topic um, has dramatically shifted uh, during the pandemic when everyone was um, sent back uh, to his home to work. Mm -hmm. And in the past uh, under a VDI, maybe this was not the pri primary use case or under DAS uh, infrastructure. And I think this is this is particular shift that, that um, is this just a, a must have uh, to have a communication tool at hand. And I think that that's where we have seen the latest innovations between both companies. Um, also in the recent two years um, since COVID uh, hit hit us, um, yeah, to to bring UCNC uh, to workplaces <clears throat> using VDI uh, and DAS environments um, powered by Elux. Correct, and also you can um, use all those at the, yeah the same time on the client. You don't have to choose between one of those solutions. You can add them all and use them as you need. Okay, great. Yeah, I think that answers the question. So I guess uh, there is one other question: uh, Are licensing models perpetual? Uh, Philip mm -hmm. Spain, can you take that? The license you buy at one time and can use it a, a lifetime. And to have the right to update, you need the subscription, which is perpetual. <laughs> So the license is not bound to a user, the license is um, bound to the uh, amount of managed devices and they're not bound to a device. So if you um, uh, remove a device and update it by a newer device, you can reuse the same license, uh, but you always need one valid subscription for each managed device uh, in our platform. Got it. I think there is one other question related to licenses most probably you might have answered it already but let me read out that question so i'm not a i'm not a client computing device licensing expert but i expect that a customer would have to buy various expensive cals for each user right like windows cal citrix concurrent user licenses etc so uh, i think you want to take that question yeah, I can. Just, we can only answer the the, the Elux uh, Scout components. So that's one license per device, not per user. 
So if you have multiple users on one device, you're lucky. You still need, you only need one device. If you have multiple devices per user, you need multiple devices. Um, uh, I think a comment on, on Microsoft um, other licenses is uh, up for you, maybe Manju. Um, that's yeah, that's so I can cover the Windows licenses. The, the simple answer is yes, you have to buy Windows CAL licenses and also the Citrix concurrent licenses or the user licenses based on your requirement and your infrastructure, how it is spanned out to work, whether you have you know remote users working on single laptop all the time, whether you have an office setup where multiple people come and work on single desktop or laptop. So based on that, you have to buy the Citrix licenses as well, along with your Windows licenses. That is correct. Great. Uh, okay, if we have a few more minutes. We can take up a few more questions. So there is another question. Uh, who might be the best user for this solution? Uh, I don't know if, they, if this is a continuous to the previous question. If you can elaborate, uh, that would be helpful. On uh, what do you mean? Uh, do by you user? think? You, yeah, I don't know. So I'm asking the person who has the question to elaborate on that. Uh, so without taking the complete name, Mohammed, if you can drop us an email with your question in detail uh, to the email address is citrixready at citrix.com, citrixready one word at citrix.com. We will definitely get back to you with the answers in detail. I don't think the question is complete as of now, uh, but if you can elaborate and send an email, we will definitely get back to you. Okay, I think he expanded. Philip, uh, he meant to ask which enterprise will choose this solution. Um, there are a lot of enterprises using our solution in combination. Um, mm -hmm. We have both of our largest installation with 300,000 and 240,000 uh, seats and clients running Elux and Citrix. Um, came from the uh, banking sector and we have some other customers using uh, the solution um, in the 10,000 are it's it's fitting for everyone using VDI um, and decentralized desktops and day AIS. Yeah, I Great. would agree it really depends from um, we have the smallest customers with five devices right up to 300,000, everything in between from any type of industry. I think when it comes to, um, you want to yeah, uh, be more efficient to uh, managing those devices uh, because Elix is, uh, like we showed, uh, like very lean. Um, so if you want to improve, uh, save costs on the maintenance and rolling out of new images and you're already under VDI and using a DAS environment, um, then it, you can extend and uh, further improve um, your estate. Um, with um, yeah, uh, using Elux as your operating system, Scout as your management platform, um, because it makes things a lot of easier, more simplified, uh, and leaner. Great. Yeah, thanks, Philip. Thanks, Ben. Uh, so I think we are almost reaching the end of the webinar duration. So if there are any other questions, uh, be it a follow-up question or a new question, please drop an email at. Uh, the email address citrixready at citrix.com. So thank you everyone for attending this uh, session and making the use of your time. So thank you, Philip and Spain for talking about how we can improve together and be feature ready with your endpoint uh, Elex operating system. Uh, and like I mentioned, you will definitely get the recording and the slides that we presented today. Thank you, everyone, and that concludes the webinar for today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye.